Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me in this video. This is Nikita and in this video we will talk about decision tree in Pega. So previous video we talked about decision table which was also a very important decisioning concept. So now we will come to decision tree. So both decision table and decision tree are used uh, in lot of places in Pega development. So let's just start with uh, understanding what a decision tree is. First of all, where do we find a decision tree? It uh, stays under decision category and you will see a decision tree here. Okay. So what do we find in a decision tree? There are lot many tabs as we had in decision table. So let's understand one by one. Okay. So here you have like an if else condition we have normally in any programming language. Here also you will find many if else's condition. Okay. Uh, what are the things that we see here? We see an if conditions okay so in this you can specify the property name and you can specify the condition and the value then you will have an option of either you want to return some value when this condition satisfies or you want to evaluate something else or you want to continue and then check for some other condition as well or you want to call another decision tree call another decision table or map value you have number of options to select okay so let's go one by one when we do a return what do we have so when you do a return uh, you will not get any uh, embedded condition in here okay so this is separate if condition and this is a separate if condition okay so let me use something else instead when you do a evaluate when you do an evaluate you will give uh, you will get an embedded condition set here if value is this then return this so value is this means when duration of the event is greater than four, then you want to evaluate when it is greater than four, you want to return something or you want to do something else. Okay. So it's like an embedded condition within itself. Okay. You can also set uh, some property values here in tech actions. Maybe you wanted to have something here. You can set it. Okay. And this will be set as take action okay let me remove this for this i will have to remove the evaluate condition here so instead of evaluate if i use continue what will happen if you use continue then you will have to again select some other condition that you want uh, after the duration of event greater than four satisfies what is the other thing that you want to check maybe you want to check if number of guests uh, is greater than 200 or not Okay, and then you want to return something. Okay, so this is upon you. Instead of continue, I can also use take action. And in take action, you will have to set uh, some property values, whichever you want. Now, uh, let me use something else instead. Otherwise, when you put an otherwise here, instead of if it will set it as otherwise. Okay, let me refresh. Okay. Uh, other thing is you can call a decision tree from here okay you can call a decision tree and give the name of the new decision tree or you can call a decision table okay when you call a decision table again you have to specify the decision table name all of these are possible okay uh, so now what are the other things that you have here you have the show conflicts and show completeness which we used to have in decision table also what is that which you do in show conflict? Let me first create some conflict for you. Greater than four. So suppose I have the value as nine. Nine is greater than four and nine is also greater than eight. But the second condition will never get reached. Uh, you, you will find here this rule contains one logic conflict. Okay, click the show conflict button. I'm trying to click but I'm not get any, getting anything but this is what it is it is creating a conflict let me remove this conflict now put it as two and save now you'll see this has gone right right the conflict has gone what is show completeness let me click on this basically when you click on show completeness another row would be added which uh, which can have a condition like less than equal to two or uh, so this condition we have not added anywhere here. So this will come under show completeness. Okay. Uh, what is configuration? You can add uh, 
uh, you can allow adding of node to the decision tree from here suppose you have delegated this to a business user and you do not want the business user to update uh, any if else condition add anything add a new node in the decision tree okay then you can select this uh, you can allow the selection of call decision option or not if you don't want anyone to call a decision table or decision tree from a decision tree then you can uncheck this if you uncheck this what will happen is you will not find the option let me show you you will not find the option of calling a decision table tree or map value from here okay so all these kind of things you can do you can add results defined by property preset values etc etc okay uh, you can also set in the parameters in here you can set in pages and classes as well so uh, i hope this was particularly useful to you uh, we would come again with the next video where we would uh, see the implementation of a decision tree from a flow or from activity and a data transform keep watching till then take care bye bye